Next topic is social media analytics. Contents covered in today's class are social media analytics, user generated content, sentiment analysis, analytics in digital decoding consumer intent. So first let's see social media analytics. That is analyze the social media. That is social media analytics. This, all, this also comes under web analytics. Okay. That is social media analytics is a practice of gathering data from blogs and social media websites and analyzing the data to make business decisions. Suppose you have generated, you have uh, given some thing about your organization in social media. So how, how many, that is how long the visitors are uh, staying in that particular or how long they are, how interested they, have, they are to verify that or to go through that particular business and all. That shows social media analytics. Analyzing that, that is that also can improve, improve the business of the organization because now all are using social medias. Any different kinds of social medias are there. So based on the interest of the customer or people, he is using that particular social media, right? So where that particular advertisement or details about your organization has been uh, present or it is present so that particular uh, customer or the normal people can see that particular advertisement and if he is interested naturally he will go inside that and he will verify that he will check that what is written in that what is that and all so based on the length how how long or based on the traffic of that thing that is also very important to improve the business and also to take proper decisions that is social media analytics next one is user generated content uh, that is any form of content such as blogs wikis discussion forum posts chats tweets that is they which have been prepared by the users of an online system of service often made available via social media websites that is user generated content the content which has been generated by the user, that is UGC, user generated content. Okay, so UGC may be monitored by website administrators. So for that also administrators are there. So who are controlling or who are monitoring what is happening, that is how long, what language they are using, whether any pirates are there, whether any frauds are there, it can be clearly understood. For adding a UGC element, that is first point is better understanding of the target audience. That is when the user is generating particular content. So uh, based on the analysis of that, one can understand who is the target audience. Okay, move site engagement. That is allows you to develop and enhance your relationship with consumers as they engage your own site and increase customer satisfaction. That is, it allow users to ask, ask and answer their own questions. A stronger community, that is more people can be connected, increase time on site, more, more he can, if he is interested, naturally he will sit more. And that is the importance of this UGC and trustworthy content, the content will be trustworthy. Next topic is sentiment analysis. That is, it's a powerful emerging field that attempts to analyze and measure human emotions and convert it into hard facts. That is, reviews are there, right? In the analysis, you can see different reviews. That is, when you go to purchase something via online. So, first you will go through the reviews. So, analyze it. That is, emerging field that attempts to analyze and measure human emotions and convert it into hard facts so that is sentiment analysis okay that is it's a common text classification tool that analyzes an incoming message and tells whether the underlying sentiment is positive negative or neutral so that's it that is sentiment analysis so here five steps have given for sentiment uh, analysis analyze sentiment data first one is a data collection text preparation, sentiment detection, sentiment classification, and presentation of output. That is, you have to collect the data, and then based on that, you have to prepare the text. That is, you are preparing, suppose you are drawing columns, 
positive, negative, neutral, three headings. You are drawing three columns and then positive attitudes. You can write negative, you can write and neutral, you can write. You can compare it. So you have to collect it. You have to prepare it and then you have to find the sentiment, what it is, whether it is positive, negative, whatever. And then based on that, you have to classify it and then you have to present it as output. So these are the five steps. So here it has been explained over here. It's also the same thing. Next is sentiment analysis methods, document level sentiment analysis, that the document is fully analyzed. That is this technique assume that every document contains an opinion or opinion related words, giving importance to each and every part of document. Second one is sentence level, that is sentence is taken into consideration. Next is aspect based, that is a um, attribute, every attribute, every opinion is being taken, that is aspect based. Next one is analytics in digital decoding consumer intent. That's the last topic. So here you know that now you are every everyone is using taking the help of internet and doing many things in internet, right? Taking the network connectivity. So actually, whatever you are giving into that, we know that encoding, decoding is always going on happening. So that's it. As companies have moved to the internet, decoding the customer intent has become a lot easier and difficult. Decoding always it is being done and that is easier and difficult also. Unlike in traditional store, a website has given the organization to capture the customer's partial interest over a product through his various click points. That is, it. this is not like the normal traditional store. That is when a particular, uh, based on the click or based on the count, Web analysis can be done. Okay. Interest can be understood. Behavior of the customer can be understood. To analyze or decode the customer intent, the following is a process. First, you have to log in and then you are visiting the brand page, reviewing the options. You are searching the parameters which you need, review the ratings. Configure the product that is based on that and then price comparator different products it will give so based on that you are comparing the price and you are taking it add to the basket. So this is the process. So that's all about today's class. Hope it was clear for you. Thank you.